Columbus conjures up too many stereotypes to count. You've got the hipster areas, preppy places, neighborhoods where college kids hang out, and of course, the ghettos. Seems as if there's a neighborhood for everyone in Columbus. So the question arises, which Columbus neighborhoods are the best and which are the worst? Today we'll use science and data to determine which Columbus neighborhoods need a little TLC. You know, the worst parts of Columbus. You can tell a lot about a neighborhood by how broke people are and by how bad crime is. We'll use those as our measuring sticks. So join us as we take a stroll through Columbus's worst neighborhoods. Our first stop on our tour of Columbus's neighborhood starts in Southside. The unemployment rate here is 8% and home prices are really, really low. Crime is so bad here that local business owners say it's hurting their way of life. Do you think Mr. Rogers would go into this neighborhood? The answer is no. No, he wouldn't. Our next stop on our crummy tour brings us to near Southside, a hood with quite a few people who probably wish they didn't live here. Income levels are around $31,000, and homes average about $141,000. They certainly won't be throwing parades in near Southside anytime soon, that's for sure. Continuing our journey of the worst Columbus neighborhoods, we come to Blindland Park. Here, most of the residents live at or below poverty, and you have about a 1 in 20 chance of being the victim of a crime each year. This neighborhood has so much potential, too. Would a baby go into this neighborhood? That's a baby. Don't listen to anything he says. Southwest is next on our list. It's too bad that the entire area around here sucks. This is one of the most dangerous hoods in Columbus, and homes are some of the cheapest in the area as a result. A ton of residents here are out of work almost twice the national average. Folks here need to get a damn job. It's not that hard, people. Try South. It's certainly no walk in the park when you consider the stats. This area is very dangerous and very poor. Families bring in very low income levels. But people in Try South are the richest of any other area we're gonna talk about, which puts into perspective how poor many of the neighborhoods Yo, in Columbus are. this ad's brought to you by are. Clippers. We'll be back Martin after King this quick Cole message. Mark. Come get your hair did. We do it tight and right. That's Clippers on MLK. G. Continuing our tour of the worst parts of Columbus, we come to North Central. Want to play a joke on your friends? Tell them you're going to go to a party in North Central and watch their reactions. There aren't too many people packed into this little hood where you might get blown away for wearing the wrong hat. The Winslow certainly wouldn't live in North Central, and you won't find the Bundys living here either. Here in the densely packed neighborhood of South Linden, about one in five people refuses to work, and just about everyone's broke. To get there, take your car to roughly the rundown house on the left and the boarded up building on the right. Been spending most their lives living in the gangster's paradise. Welcome to Fort Columbus Airport, one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Columbus. Entire families here make absurdly low annual incomes. Can we interest anyone in a $90,000 house in Fort Columbus Airport? Anyone? No? Okay then. Franklinton is a notoriously horrible area too. In this neighborhood, a ton of population lives in poverty and crime is off the charts. There are murders in and around this neighborhood every single year. Not good. Not fun. And where's the worst neighborhood in the city of Columbus? That would be Milo Grogan. This true hood has a ton of people who live in the worst conditions in the city. It ranks in the bottom three for home values and income levels and in the top three for crime. Some Columbus neighborhoods are hard to tell apart, but you can tell who's from this hood. They're the ones with the 40, a pistol, a beat up car, and a pit bull. If you don't live in Milo Grogan or any of the other neighborhoods we talked about, you don't have it too badly. Congratulations. 